Hi everyone, I'd like to thank you for viewing this video. It's important for those going into careers in psychology to have an understanding of the different branches of psychology and the different paths someone can take within this field. The biggest reason for this is because different careers have different requirements in terms of what degree programs are needed, what their licensure requirements are, what subjects will be learned, and learning outcomes. So I want to take some time to talk to you about some of the different branches of psychology and what these branches study and what those branches do. It's important to know that not all psychologies are the same. Each focuses on specific things and programs for these specific areas of psychology will be very different in what they teach and what you learn. There are over 20 different branches of psychology, so I'm just going to talk about a few of them with you today. Industrial and organizational psychology, this is often abbreviated as IO psychology. This might also be referred to as organizational behavior. It is essentially workplace psychology. It focuses on things like improving employee job performance, job satisfaction and employee retention, employee learning and engagement are other things that those in IO psychology will likely engage in. Helping leaders to make more effective decisions and support their employees are other tasks for those in IO psychology. CTU's program has a foundation in organizational behavior. It is the very root of what we study in our psychology program. Those successfully completing CTU's psychology program will be prepared for careers in organizational behavior. These careers typically do not require licensure or certification. Some examples of careers you can go into with your bachelor's degree from CTU include human resource management, recruiter, policy officer, employee engagement, employee culture specialist, change management professional, executive coach, team development manager, staffing manager, strategy development professional, business analyst, manager, team development trainer, or business development consultant. Consumer behavior is another area of psychology. Sometimes it's referred to as marketing psychology. Just like the name says, it is all about studying the buying habits of consumers and how to market to specific audiences and how to improve customer satisfaction. It examines how attitudes, emotions, and preferences can impact buying behaviors. Clinical psychology, sometimes referred to as counseling psychology, is the branch of psychology that those wishing to become clinical psychologists, counselors, or therapists would engage in. It looks at understanding, assessing, diagnosing, and treating mental illnesses. Those wishing to become a counselor, therapist, clinical social worker, or psychologist would attend a school with a generalized psychology program that was designed for those going into these fields and that will lead to licensure. After receiving a bachelor's degree from one of these programs, the person would then go on to a master's program that was specific to their intended career. For example, those wanting to work after a master's degree and wanting to become a licensed professional counselor, or LPC, would get a master's in mental health counseling. In the US, those wishing to become a psychologist would need to continue on to get a doctorate in clinical psychology in order to become licensed. It is very important to choose programs that have mission statements and courses that align with your goals. School psychology takes pieces from various other branches of psychology, like educational psychology, clinical psychology, developmental psychology, community psychology, and behavioral analysis. A person who is a school psychologist works in a school to help kids deal with emotional, social, and academic school-related issues. They may also be referred to as a school counselor. Again, this career requires licensure. Depending on the state, either a master's or a doctorate is needed. Please be sure to see what your state requires. Sports psychologists may work with a single athlete or an entire team. It may be through counseling or just behavior analysis. They look at how behavior impacts athletic performance. Educational psychology looks at learning in an academic environment. A person who goes into educational psychology might work with textbook companies or standardized test designers to create effective tools for learning. 
Forensic psychology is the branch of psychology that connects to law and the criminal justice system. They collect, examine, and present evidence for judicial cases. Criminal profilers, those who suggest you may have committed a crime, typically have a background in forensic psychology. Experimental psychology is the branch of psychology that conducts psychological experiments. They conduct research for use in problem solving or to examine a process. Health psychology, sometimes called medical psychology, is the branch of psychology that focuses on health, medicine, illness, and healthcare. Among other topics, they study psychoneuroimmunology, which looks at the connection between mental health, the nervous system, and the immune system. Biopsychology looks at the, bi the biological foundations for behavior. It examines parts of the brain, the nervous system, and the role of these parts in human behavior. Two of the newer branches of psychology are wellness psychology and environmental psychology. Wellness psychology looks at mental wellness. It does not look at things like mental illness, but rather it looks at how to stay mentally well. It examines things like stress reduction, sleep habits, and proper nutrition, and how to utilize these things to have mental wellness and to prevent illness. It can help a person learn how to be a positive contributor to his or her community. Environmental psychologists look at the interaction between individuals and the world around us. They may study topics like climate change or pollution. I hope this exploration into some of the different branches of psychology was helpful. Remember, different branches of psychology require different degree programs, different licensures and certifications, and different information. Those going into certain areas do not necessarily need the same information, which is why degree programs are so important. I wish you success on your journey, no matter what branch of psychology you choose.